Good morning, guys, from the middle of the mountains at the end of the world in Ushuaia. We're deep into the national park, guys, staying in a little a cabin. Um, I'm a pretty tall guy, so I gotta be like this, but let me show you really quick, you guys, the room. Travel light always, a window, and we get to see into the forest. And well, today I'm gonna show you where I'm staying, this place. Oh, we need some light. And we're gonna go on a trek, a three hour trek, so six hours round trip into the forest. Some sort of old television here. And as opposed, that's a bed for somebody else. Yep. Alrighty guys, Alejandro's downstairs making making breakfast. So this is somebody's home that we're staying in. Check out the local fireplace. It gets extremely, extremely cold at night. And it's summer. But here we're at the end of the world. Good morning, Ali. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> Arina Pan, guys. Yeah, we, we, we travel with this stuff. <laughs> 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 you gotta be ready to make arepas at any time. Anyways, let's go outside, guys. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you some friends. Mm -hmm. Some 42 friends. Mm -hmm. Maybe more. It's a lot of friends. So that's just the forest back there. Oh, oh. all right, he's coming. Hello, good morning. How you doing? Checking me out. You give me the green light, sort of. Look at his eyes. He's a little camera shy. There's like a free range over here, guys. Oh, and there goes Panda. There's some really nice birds I want to show you. Panda keeps scaring them away. Anyways, guys, over here we have a bunch of huskies, some sledding dogs. Siberian huskies, Alaskan huskies. I'm not going to get too close to them before animal activists knock down the video. But it's one of the dying activities over here. These dogs are, have been bred for that. It's not traditional in this part of the world, even though it's probably just as cold as Northern Europe or Alaska. But you can just imagine in a few months, <laughs> this will all be covered in snow. But check it out. Huskies. They've been howling all night, guys. It's beautiful. Alejandro's looking like the Venezuelan Rocky. <laughs> All right. All righty, guys. So check it out. This is what the forest look like over here. And we're commencing a couple hours trek each way to a beautiful lake over here. They call it Emerald Lake. El Lago Esmeralda. Because the water is supposed to look like an emerald when the sun hits. Sadly, it's raining, but we do what we can, guys. So, we're gonna bring you along for the adventure. This is about three kilometers away from the cabin where we're staying at. We kind of just hiked our way here, so we've already done three kilometers, but now, now's the real fun.
Oh, es cool. No tanto como pensé, pero sí está bien frío. Let's go check that out. These are beautiful mountains, guys. I believe all mountains are unique. They all have their own individual beauty in them. And these, these are definitely worth a look over here. Nearby the most southern city in the world. And check it out, we have a lake as well. Gorgeous, beautiful natural scenery over here. We begin to get glimpses, guys. Have a look at this water. It's very cloudy, it's, it's Gatorade frost-like pretty much. And it's coming from over there, that's where the lagoon is. And Alejandro wants a picture there. Se mueve. Mira. Dale, tírate al agua. <laughs> and across we go, the burnt, sketched out bridge. Ale, what would you do if we encounter some wolves, a panther, a bear? Te lanzo a ti como carnada y me voy yo. Honestly, I'll wait for you to run, I'll trip you, and then, <laughs> then I'll make my escape. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, anything could be in the forest, guys. This is an island. The Andes do cut through, but I think all the panthers and all that stuff is... Uh, they, they stayed on the mainland. So, we should we go, but you never know, it's a forest. This is the part where gravity starts beating you up as we ascend uphill out the mountain to get into the valley where the beautiful lake is waiting. Whoa. So I thought we'll make it. After we got down that, that little mountain slope, but it looks like not. This is like our goal is right there, underneath the glacier. Alejandro's taking another path. She wants to walk along the river. I'm taking the direct path through this, over this, and straight to that glacier. I got a nice bottle of wine, just waiting. <laughs> We made it. Woo! Emerald Lake, guys. We get lucky every now and then. The clouds let the sun hit a little bit. Once the sun hits, it's a game changer. It is literally Emerald Lake or, or Gatorade Lake. This is the closest I've seen a bird get to me. Yeah. Uh, no es como que se te acercó porque oh qué lindo eres, no. Why are you es porque hating? quiere comida, no es porque. Why are you hating? <laughs> She's hating because all the animals always choose me. Uh, Especially the female dogs. Obvio, la <laughs> So I managed to figure out why the birds are so used to people. Everybody gives them bread. <laughs> Alright, so it's that time guys, we brought wine here from Patagonia, El Fin del Mundo, or at the end of the world. We're going to continue hiking because there's, uh, there's another area to see, the, it smells good? Sí. Right. The owner of the cabin we're staying at said, alright, you can get to Emerald Lake, but then go another couple hours and you're going to see something else, so we're, we're going to go for it. It's a bit late in the day, it's three something, but we have a good pace. We'll make it after this bottle of wine. All right, cheers. Salud. Salud. Sí. Desde, Desde el fin del mundo. Patagonia. Ushuaia.
Coño, está rico. ¿Ya? Está muy rico. Está suave, pero está dulce. Oh, yeah, it's excellent. I love it. A mí me encantó. And it costs like $2.50. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es una nota pesos. tomarlo acá. Toda yeah. la vista que tenemos es It really is. It's spectacular out there. These are the friendliest birds I've ever seen. They must be really used to people giving them bread. You ain't getting nothing from me. Go, I don't know, go eat some insects or something. Oh, he got on my foot. <laughs> All right, now you're gonna glow in the dark. <laughs> so, just talked to uh, a fellow trekker here, local dude. There is another lagoon that way. It's a different trek, it's up the mountain and then you can see the lagoon from up top. It's, it's getting a bit late, but he said if we, if we trek on through without many stops, we're gonna pull on through, so let's see how far we get. Let's do it. Let's adventure on. All right, so never mind, we're not gonna get very far. We have beaver droppings here, guys. So this is a beaver dam over here. He or she built it right over here. He has access to it from the water. All this for one little rodent. Here we have a family of ducks, guys. The white one's the male. There's mama back there with a bunch of chicks right behind her. And that was the glacier. So this is the head where the lagoon is being fed from. So that little lake we saw back there with, with those waterfowl. Um, it might have been the, the beavers that <laughs> they built all that around there. So I can see why they're being called pests over here. The, the locals don't like them. Anyway, check out, check out this bridge. I like it. So check it out guys, here's the beavers work. Even more now, I see why they're called pests. I mean, it's summer, so all the ice should be melting. This should be a lot more full of water, but check it out. That beaver dam right there is holding everything in. The water just slightly flows. And maybe all this should be a little bit higher with water and have that emerald like color. Looks like rain caught us. See, I siento las goticas. I want to see that beaver though. I never saw one. It's a whole nother beauty to this lake with this weather. So if it's raining, it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It doesn't glow as much, but I still find it beautiful. I find like a, some mystery here now. <laughs> and I'll walk back home. <laughs> Alejandro looks beat up. <laughs> Nobody stop it. Uh, it's all right. We got another three kilometers to go. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. So we don't have wolves, but we have foxes. Oh, look! And there's a cub. There's a oh, and there's another one there. All right, it's mom and dad, and and that's a little pup. These animals, they do hunt, but they can be scavengers most of the time. They're probably 
They left, they get this close to people because they're used to being fed. Here's beautiful Lake Fagnano over here. It's humongous. And all the way that way, it's Chile. And somewhere in the bushes are the little foxes. How many did you guys count? We have a little bit of a roadblock here. We mean no harm. It's a new day guys, we rented a car. So I didn't properly close out the vlog the other day because we got <laughs> we got home so tired that we just fell asleep right away. So we're now driving the backside of the national park. People told us not to come, we came anyways. There's not much to see, but there is wildlife. So I feel like we're on safari right now. We've seen the wild llamas it's not a llama, but it's a cousin of it. It looks just like it. We've seen the foxes. We saw wild Andean condors, a pair. We got extremely lucky to see them flying. Beautiful bird. And what else did we see? I feel like I'm missing one of the animals that we saw. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we're still looking for beavers. We we're told to take them out if we see them. This is Lake Yewen, but there's absolutely, this is deserted. Well, I wanted to bring you more adventures. Oh, look, there's some people there, they're camping. So it's beautiful Lake Yewen, guys. It seems like this was an abandoned project. Maybe trying to start some tourism here or something, but everything is just completely abandoned. And there's llamas. They like to hang around the bushes. But they're scary cats. They, I've never seen an animal that big be so scared. They run away from everything, which is actually good. But check this out. Let's explore this abandonment. This abandoned place. Wow. To the toilet once. So there were indigenous people living on this island here, this Ushuaia, until they were killed off by the colonizers. Not much to do here except enjoy a nice bottle of Argentinian wine by the lake. It's from the Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Well, at least since 2004, this has been this way. Everybody comes and they seem to just leave their mark. Over here at Lake Yedwin, we're gonna search the water. And I must say, guys, don't let the weather fool you. It looks extremely beautiful. It is, it is cold because it's very windy over here. Have a look. It's that windy. It's all coming this way. And there's almost nobody here. There's some people over there and then this lake is completely abandoned. Definitely worth a visit, I must say. And Ali's drinking a, a beagle. 
end of the world beer. Yo tomo y él maneja. Yo tomo por los dos. Cheers. Ah, no está tan fría. No. Es just chilly. It's not that cold. Uy, sí. Oh, mira, chiquitito, ¿lo ves? Iba a saltar para ver. Todo salta. ¿Y el chiquito? Mira, el chiquito no puede. Puede, ¿cómo hace? Ah, se mete por debajo. Mira, son muchas. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. El chiquito se trata de meter por debajo. Sí. Oh, no. 